sometimes come here to Van Cortlandt Park when, um, when I need to clear my head. And there's been a deep necessity for that over the last couple of days. This, um, this trip is coming. It's coming faster and harder with every single day. All the preparations are beginning to show themselves and it's really time to start buckling down with a lot of things. Um, and with that, I think you go through a personal reflection of all the things that you're leaving behind and all of the things that you hope to gain while on an excursion like this. And I do tend to go through this every time I go on a major trip, but um, there's something that makes this trip extremely different. About nine weeks ago now, a little over two months, one of my best friends and ex-boyfriend died in a really tragic and untimely motorcycle accident. And um, in the process of going through preparing for this trip, I've also been in a state of mourning in regards to Rudy's death. And this is by far in my lifetime the person that has been the closest to me that I've ever had past. So there's certain emotions and and motions to this that I just haven't experienced yet and I'm going through cold turkey for the first time in my life. And I know that he's gonna be with me on this trip. I know that he's here guiding me, looking over me, you know, in preparations for this trip. And that makes me feel better. But at the same point in time, there's still a part of me that is kind of like missing. And um, with that, there's a part of me that really hopes that this trip to Thailand gives me enough space from this situation to not be right in it, you know, kind of like the way that I have been in being here in New York and being so close to the situation since it happened. And it's like, I'm hoping that I can get a sense of healing out in Thailand from the distance, but also from just the reflection and the honesty that I put myself through. And, you know, I'm revealing this now because I figure at some point, whether it's through the video, the editing, or even the blogs, this is going to come out because it's such a big part emotionally of my life right now and mentally of my life right now. And it's coming out sooner, you know, than I thought. And it's something that I'm starting to deal with a lot more as this trip is approaching and the idea of leaving you know, my comfort zones again, leaving the people that I know and that I love and that love me, you know, to go out on another journey. And it's just making it more emphasized because of having such a severe loss in such a short time frame from getting ready to leave again. So I tend to come to Van Cortlandt Park when I need to clear my head. And the spot that I'm sitting in right now is actually the same exact spot that me and my boyfriend were the day that I found out that Rooney died. And I just been sitting here writing in my journal and just contemplating everything and knowing that through his death, if I learned anything, I learned that I still have to go after my dreams and I still have to do everything that I feel like I need to do. And it feels really good knowing that in another sense, he's still gonna be by my side while I'm out there doing that.